What's up guys, it's June, welcome back to episode number 56 in Pokemon, uh, of Pokemon Showdown Live, rather. Happy Friday to everybody out there in the Fridayverse, and also huge shout out to Comax for the background music, all that stuff. Um, anyhow, I've been on tilt pretty bad, and I'm gonna try to play my way out of it, which is probably not a great idea. Um, you know, I've just been making some pretty subpar plays, um... Hopefully I can remedy that in today's episode, and hopefully we don't lose to, like, Confuse Ray again, because that was embarrassing. But, uh, anyway, so we're facing OKC Thunder 230. Um, also, speaking of the Oklahoma City Thunder, it's stupid that they might not make the playoffs this year, because they're actually a pretty good team. Anyway, this guy has a pretty, uh, XY-ish team, so good luck, have fun to you too, buddy. Um... He has a defogger, which is pretty lame, but it gets pressured by almost R. So I'm going to go and lead. Uh, oh, he also has Sceptile, which is going to be his mega in this battle. I would presume. But he leads Exploud, which is fine, because if he's running bulky, I cannot speed him. Uh, if not, that's unfortunate. <laughs> if he's, like, timid specs, or if he's Scarf, I don't know why you would run Scarf Exploud. Like, I understand the concept behind Scarf Exploud. Um, okay, he goes for the Shadow Ball. That's fine. I'm going to go for the Scald right here because I want to donk his Gligar on the Switch if he does choose to go out and lose Gligar right here. Um, because, you know, that's always a nice thing to uh, stop from defogging versus my team. Because rocks are actually going to be pretty important uh, as he just ends up staying in. So I should have spiked, but I didn't. You know, that's just how things go. Uh, he's locked in a Shadow Ball, it looks like. So I'm going to go into Mellow Edda and click U-Turn. Um... And, uh, because I think he's gonna go out into Dewblade. And if I can just U-turn and then put pressure on his Dewblade with Rhyperior or double out, uh, predicting Gligar, then I think that is going to be okay for me, as he just ends up staying in, or not staying in, going going into Gligar. I, didn't, I don't really like that, to be honest, for me. Um, but I think right here, <sighs> Serp doesn't really beat his team, because he does have Braviary. And he does have this, which is a pretty good, pretty good stop. But I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, I have HP fire. But I'm gonna go into a Pidgeot and pray. He's physically defensive, and maybe I can get a confusion. I just need like some return luck because of what has happened in the past to me, how much it has scarred me. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go straight away for the hurricane right here. If I can uh, do like 70% and get the confusion and confusion full confusion, that'd be nice. Uh, that did 36%, and he's just going to defog, so there went the first four turns of the battle. Uh, I think right here I'm just going to go for another Hurricane, because, um, well, Mega, like, Mega Pidgeot, my experiences with it so far is that, like, it's really good at doing 50% to things. Like, it's not stupid strong, hurt, nice, uh, it's not, like, stupid strong to the point where it's like, oh my god, this thing's a nuke, but... Like, it's a good Pokemon. It's very fast. It hits relatively hard. It just needs more raw power behind it, which, like, I've seen some people, like, the Canadian Wi-Fi pair it with, like, a Nasty Pass, which seems pretty cool to me, because then you can actually do, like, 100% to things and, like, actually kill them, as opposed to just not doing 100% to them. And he goes into Dewblade right here, which is fine, because I'm just clicking Heat Wave. I don't really care. Um... And I think as long... That did 84%. So, like, see, look, look at that. Like, it doesn't have enough raw power behind it to one-shot a zero spidef. A zero specially defensive invested Dewblade, which is a little bit of... Like, I understand it's a Violite, but, like, Dewblade has pretty bad special bulk. Um, and that's one of the things I don't really like about Pidgeot, to be honest. We're going to see if he's Scarf right here. I'm um, fine with just scouting for this right here, because then I can go into Rhyperior and uh, start earthquaking things, which is always nice. And I always have hip only if I do need it. If I do need to save it for uh, this Braviary and his uh, and his Sceptile, so he ends up being scarfed and knocking out with the Brave Bird, which is fine um, because I can go out into Rhyperior right here 
uh, Rhyperior right here <laughs> and uh, probably just fire off an EQ. I don't think he's going to want to stand right here. If he does, I will be pretty surprised and it's always nice to donk this Almamola on the switch probably or Exploud, whichever one he does choose to go out into. Uh, not really my business. He ends up going out into Almamola as I do 31%, so like donk and air quotes right there. But I'm going to go into Superior right here because I can go... Wow, I have a lot of Pokemon ending in IOR on my team. And by a lot, I mean two. Um, so he ends up going for the knockoff. Getting rid of my Meadow Plate, so that's rude. But I'm just going to go for the Leaf Storm right here. I kind of want to go for Dragon Pulse, predicting uh, the Braviary. But I kind of want to scout what his initial switch into this is going to be... Uh, ends up being Braviary, so good to know. That's still the 32%. I'll take some more residual on that. Um, let's see, what do I need? Meloetta beats that. Meloetta can take a hit from that. And Meloetta can beat that. So I want Meloetta. I want Superior because it beats these two members of his team. And can potentially beat that depending on uh, whether or not it's running HP Fire. Uh, Rhyperior is nice because it checks Braviary. And that's kind of my biggest problem right now. Um, him only is nice for speed control too. So, you know. I'm just going to go ahead and go out into Rhyperior here. Because I do think I can take a Scarf. Uh, superpower if that is what he chooses to go for is he just goes for the u-turn so that's a good play um i kind of want to sd if he goes into the alma mola he goes into septile okay right here i think my only play is to stone edge um and the reason i say my only play is to stone edge is because i don't want him subbing on me for free as he just giga drains which is fine um i would rather him have done that than do anything else so right here i'm gonna go into superior actually i'm gonna go into meloetta i lied <laughs> uh because i can just fire off a hyper voice and he has no more normal resists and hopefully i can just knock him out here and uh it will do a lot to alma mola because like rhyperior had just fired off a 100 base power stab attack coming off 416 attack and did 30 percent so his alma mola is not going to be a switch in right here um i think his best play is to either sack this for damage reveal the knockoff septile or go into braviary and uh sack like sacking braviary to me would be a pretty big weight off my shoulders because then superior superior has a better matchup versus the rest of his team but you know we'll see what he decides to do um also update video will probably be up tomorrow just because i feel like it's time for an up it's time it's time for an update video and uh this guy's not making a move so i'll pause it i'm gonna be right back he didn't reveal the um soundproof Explad, that would have been like a next level play. I would have been so pissed. Um, but right here, I think I'm going to go into Superior and sack this. And the reason I'm going to sack this is because I think I can win if I sack this to get damage off. As he just goes for the Brave Bird, which is fine. That did 21%. Braviary, you're pretty scary. Um, Scarf Braviary is more viable in XY. Can anyone if I write a thing about that? I've mentioned him twice in today's episode. Uh, right here, I think... See, what I really want to do is double the Meloetta. But I can also lose if I double the Meloetta. I'm going to do it anyway, because I think he's going to go to Almamola. And I think I have to kind of make a play here to win. Because um, I don't think he'll want to stay in. And going into Meloetta gives me the chance to... There it is. There it is. Uh, so this is a very good matchup for me. I can just click Hyper Voice right here. Um... And hopefully one shot him, although I'll probably do like 70-ish percent. But once I get rid of Alma Mola, I think uh, Hitmonlee has the chance to win if I... Well, actually, I'm not even sure it can one-shot Sceptile, so... He ends up going for the Protects. Okay, what, what did that actually do for you? <laughs> the hint is nothing. Um, if I was like sub call mind, you just straight up lost. Like, it was over. I set up a sub and just fired up. Wow, that didn't even kill. That was disappointing. I think I lost now. Um, but I can just fire off another Hyper Voice. It'll do good damage to whatever he wants to bring out. Or he can sack Almamola. Which would also be pretty nice. Um, I'm hoping he goes out in the Sceptile. Uh, he goes out of Braviary to sack Braviary. Okay. I don't mind. Um, go ahead and act like I still don't knock out Almamola. And if he wants to try to sub up on me with this, I'm fine with that. 
Uh, if he goes for the Leaf Storm, that's... If he goes out into this and goes... Okay. Now is your chance, uh, Meloetta. Prove to me your bulk. Um, I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice right here, just in case he goes for the sub. Um, forgetting that I can go through his sub with sound moves. Um, he goes for the Leaf Storm, knocks me out, so that is gonna be a good game. So, um... Wasn't able to break tilt, I don't think, unless I can, like, crit him with a high jump kick. He'll be at 40. Actually, I could win, maybe. Uh, I gotta go for the fake out, right? Actually, do I just ha No, I gotta fake out to outspeed Sceptile. I really want a high jump kick predicting Amamola, but I just don't think it's worth it. Um, because I would get outsped by that the next turn. And he has Rocky Helmet, so that's annoying. I'm gonna go for the knockoff right here, predicting Protect. Um... Or he just doesn't do that at all and goes for the wish. That's disappointing. Um, so if you guys did enjoy this week's episode of... Uh... Okay, sweet. Never mind. I forgot he wished. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this week's uh, series of Pokemon Showdown Live, I understand we didn't do quite as well as we had in previous episodes, but... You know, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And we had a very, very successful week in UU. Wow, he didn't even protect. Okay. My bad. <laughs> My bad, fam. Um, we had a very, very successful week in UU uh, the week before. But, you know, it just didn't come together for, the, for us this week. And, you know, maybe because it's... I didn't... Maybe because it's because I haven't played RU that much this gen. Maybe because... I just played poorly all around. Um, I don't know. Probably a little bit of both. But uh, update video will be up tomorrow. So uh, make sure to answer today's comment question of the day also. Which is... Um, I don't know what the comment question... What are you guys doing this weekend? Um, I asked that last Friday too. But it's okay. I'm just going to go for the high jump kick again. And just end this stupid stall war right here. So, good game. Um, yeah. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.